Greetings, Kansas Festers. This year, in addition to Zoom, for our presentations, we'll be using Discord as our virtual Kokoran Hall. For those new to Discord, this video will give you a brief overview on how to get Discord going and a tour of the Kansas Fest server. Think of Zoom as the basement presentation room and Discord as the rest of Kokoran. First, you're going to navigate to the website discord.com to get the program. While you can run Discord, as you can see here, it says open Discord in a browser, you're going to find that the browser version of Discord does not support some of the more advanced features of Discord, such as voice and video chat. So to really take advantage of everything that, that the program has to offer, you're definitely going to want to download it. Uh, you can see mine here says download for Mac OS because I'm running this on a Mac. Here it would say download for Windows, download for Linux. You'll also in their respective uh, app stores find uh, Discord apps for your phone and tablet. So you download the, you're gonna download the software and you're going to install it the way you would normally install it. And you're going to get a screen that looks like this. So I'm going to use my spam catching account to make a new account just to demonstrate how this works. So you're going to use, you're going to need an email address, of course. So you're going to pick a username and you're going to pick a password. And you're going to click continue. Uh, I don't know. So you might say stream remote. Yeah, you, I have, I have, it's going to try and enable stream remote because I'm recording this. So you won't get that. So what you're then going to do is you're going to click this. So this is the discord interface. Um, it's pretty, it's, you can have multiple servers, you can have, you can, it's, it's a lot like a chat room. So what you're going to do is you're going to click over here where it says add a server. And I'll say, oh, another server, huh? You can create, because uh, anybody can create a Discord server or you can join with an invite code or link. So you're going to click join a server. And you're going to get a link from the Kansas Fest committee in your welcome email that looks a lot like this. Don't use this link, it's going. It, it's designed to expire after I use it. And you're gonna click on that and you're gonna paste that there, you're gonna click join. And you're gonna see this come up first. So what this is, this is the, you're essentially imagine you're standing, as it says, imagine you're standing outside the door. So what you're gonna do, this. So uh, the only thing you're gonna have uh, access to is welcome in rules and you'll see it says outside the door you stand to the entrance of virtual Kokoran Hall through the window you see a bustle of activity behind you an undergraduate pauses to look perform a dramatic eye roll and continue down the sidewalk to your right you see an entry pad with the note to enter Kansas Fest you must agree to abide by the code of conduct link click the icon below to ind indicate your agreement unlock the door so you're going to click here and you're going to look at the Kansas Fest Code of Conduct, which has been updated. Let me uh, make that very clear. Let me switch over here. The Kansas Fest Code of Conduct has been upgraded this year to cover a couple of things that could come up in a virtual environment. So make sure you read this carefully. And then when you're ready, you can click on this little key. And that little key indicates that you have, and there's going to be a ton of links, it's going to, because everybody's link, clicking on the same key, that indicates that you have, in fact, agreed to abide by the code of conduct. Click that, and it's going to give you all the rest of the channels. Uh, if you see this little dancing exclamation point, that's going to give you some tool tips. Uh, you can go through them or you can skip. So what we have here, we have a bunch, we have a number of text channels uh, and we have another voice channels. Text channels are like chat rooms. So the suggestion box is, hey, what do we need? Uh, announcements is what it sounds like. Kokoran Lobby is a general chat space, the hack space where we talk about hardware, panel discussion. You can talk about hardware, soft, you can talk about panels, software, 
a uh, presenter, place for presenters to talk, place for people to um, put anything they're selling, some of the contests we're going to have. So, and, and if you click on any of these, so if I click on panel discussion, it says right here, this is the start of the panel discussion channel. Discuss the presentations and talk to the presenter. So for example, if you're a presenter and you run out of time and you want to take it, you want to take like, if you wanted to, like we would normally maybe take the discussion over to that little room next to the basement room where everybody would, you know, adjoin to somebody's uh, room to continue the, pro the discussion. That's what this space is for. So all you do here is you type and it's just like a chat room. You type, you hit enter, you're done. If you want to get into the voice channels, which uh, we hope we absolutely encourage you all to do, uh, all of these admin stuff you won't see uh, is general and they're all the same. So gaming, archiving, we kind of gave them some names. So like if you want to run a game, if you want to talk about archiving, if you just want to talk about general stuff. So first thing you want to do is make sure your settings are correct. So on this gear, you can click user settings and you can change all kinds of stuff. But the one you're mostly interested in is voice and video. It's going to ask to uh, access different things. So in my case, uh, I'm going to tell it that I want to use for my input device. I want to, uh, obviously I have lots and lots of devices. This is on my computer. So make a uh, built-in microphone and a uh, built-in output, I think is mine. So play with, you have to play with this and then you can check and you can double check and make sure this, so if you know, and it's gonna say, you know, do you wanna use your microphone? Do you wanna use your headset, whatever. And for video, it's gonna, your same thing. It's, you don't wanna tell it which camera to use. You'll be able to test the video right here. And that way you can, you can have voice and video chat. When you're done, you click escape and when all you have to do is you will click on. So if I wanted to click into Kokor and Lobby, it'll automatically connect. And to disconnect, if I'm done talking, I just click this little button that says disconnect and I'm done. So that's Discord in a nutshell. There's a lot more going on. You can play with it, but I just wanted to give we just want to give everybody an idea of what to do, how to get started, and how the Discord's kind of going to run. If you have any questions, uh, let the committee know, or once you're in the Discord, suggestion box. Anything we missed, anything you have questions on, that's where you go. We are looking forward to hosting you all and hope you have an amazing virtual Kansas Fest. See you all soon.